Alright, so I have a choice to make now. In my previous attempt of recording this episode, I joined the Shaganui tribe because of the fact that I have to make a decision between, you know, the Shaganubis or the Inquisition in order to progress towards dealing with Crow, get off this island and continue with the main story, you know. Um, but the problem is, which I figured out, I got the, um, um, Voodoo Pirate achievement, and I was like, you know, hmm, maybe I took took the wrong option. But uh, apparently, if you're gonna join the Shaganumi tribe, you have to learn a skill in Voodoo, you know. Um, my character, my pirate, for the very least, as well as my Inquisition pirate, will not learn any kind of Voodoo capabilities. And thus, I cannot join you know, the Voodoo Pirates, so I have to, I have to redo a bit, about 30 minutes or 45 minutes worth of gameplay, um, at least when it comes to the Shaganubi tribe converted to the, uh, you know, Inquisition side, I should also re-get this treasure, but, um, since I have to make a decision, and the Shaganubi tribe is out of option, in many different ways, um, I have no choice but to get the pirate into the side of the Inquisition pirate, but fair enough, the, you know, this pirate, this playthrough, the second out of the three playthroughs that will come, just like a Risen 1, you have first playthrough, which is, um, if I remember correctly, the Warrior of the Order, now, the Warrior of the Order goes to Risen 2, and the Warrior of the Order joins the Inquisition, and thus become a Inquisition Pirate. Um, in Risen 1, you also had the third run, you know, which was the Titan Lord of, of Corruption, I believe. Um, which was the... Um, mage? I'm pretty sure it was the mage, the, the mouth, the mage, the holy flame. But uh, that guy will come in Risen 2 and join the natives and thus learn the voodoo capabilities and what have you. This guy's original intent, which is from Risen 1, the Warrior of the Dawn, to Risen 2, the pirate. Not an Inquisition pirate, not a voodoo pirate, no, just basic pirate. Um, but the problem is, I have to take a side because of the fact that, one, I cannot handle Crow on my own because of all the Shaganubi warrior tribe allies that he has with him, so I need a bit of backup, as well as the fact that if even if I beat it Crow, I need to join a side in order to sail away from the islands and continue with the main story. Now, since the Shaganubi tribe did not really work in my advantage, which is why I have to redo about 30 to 45 minutes worth of gameplay, you know, depends on how you look at it, it was 30 to 45 minutes of gameplay invested into, you know, figuring out that if you're gonna join the Shaganubi tribe, you have to learn voodoo, or at least tell you know, Shani that you want to learn voodoo, that's a no-go for my, you know, regular pirate. The voodoo capabilities will only be available for the voodoo pirate itself. And maybe the hardcore run depends, you know, that remains to be seen because I do need a playthrough in overall that te that learns everything basically. But um, I've got no option but to pick a side. So I'm first going to teleport to Puerto Isabella, run all the way here get that treasure, teleport back, join the Inquisition, and uh, eliminate Crow. But keep in mind, even though that this guy will have to join a particular side, he is still a regular pirate because of the fact that in Risen 1, there were three paths to the side to. Risen 2, apparently not entirely. Um, I was pretty sure that you could become a pirate alone and not join any side but I have done some extending googling and apparently that's not the case either way you have to join a particular side and I do 
recall in my first playthrough when I was originally a pirate that I had help from a Inquisition companion which you only get if you side with the Inquisition. So it could be that Risen 2 only has two basic paths but that even means that one of my three playthroughs of Risen 1 has to duplicate a particular path of Risen 2 because of the fact that once I go to Risen 3 you know the uh which is gonna be a blind playthrough I, I might add but uh in Risen 3 you have again three runs so in order to make it a bit more sensible I'm doing three parts in each game because of the fact the majority of the series has three parts so without further ado let's go to the Inquisition join them however this guy is not gonna be a Inquisition pirate he has you know he has to make a choice and since a voodoo magic is out of option to even touch you know let alone learn uh, when it comes to this pirate guy he has no choice but to join the Inquisition but he doesn't work for the Inquisition it's a bit confusing well you know there's nothing I can do about it because of the fact that you can't say you know let's get a bit of help of both or any in that kind of direction so yeah let's just get on with it and uh, get it done so I'm gonna teleport here get that treasure and once I've got that wait a minute that's a cliff so I do have to teleport there so without further ado uh, let's continue sorry it took so long No meat to cook. Ah! <laughs> 
That's heavy. I'll be taking your orders in that case. Of course. Well then, are we agreed? Good, I'll fight with you, not the Moluccas. Jolly good. Together with Alcazar, I've picked out a few chaps to accompany you. Already? But you didn't know what Ventura was going to report. As a Commandant of the Inquisition, it's my duty to be prepared. I suppose. Who are these chaps you're giving me? Alcazar will fill you in. Go to him and gather your men. One more thing. You'll be needing a musket. Webster will give you a musket. I've told him to expect you. Damn good shot, Webster. Make sure he gives you a spot of training. Sebastiano said I could stock up on weapons and ammo here. I've heard all about you, sir. Such a relief to have such a fine young gentleman on our side. Now, I have some excellent muskets to show you. Precision engineered pieces, these. Not those pop guns they hand out to recruits. Does that mean I don't get a freebie? Yes, sir. I have to make a living, sir. Can you teach me something? Something in the gunsmith's line, you mean, sir? I flatter myself. I'm rather good with a pistol. I want to learn something. Show me what you've got. Now, this guy is not going for a musket, but he's gonna go for a shotgun as a secondary weapon. When it comes to, uh, or do I need to get a musket? Uh, well, let me double check. I'll stick with gun. Sebastiano sent me. The Commandant on first name terms with pirates now. He believed you then. We got a problem here? You're gonna be the one with the problems, not me. 
Take my advice and don't go looking to add to them here. So, the Commandant promised you men. Yes, you've to give me some men. If it's ass kickers you want, I've got just the men you need. Real mad bastards. With the battle scars to prove it. They'll do the job, if you can keep them in line. What do you mean, keep them in line? Put it this way. They're not exactly choir boys. Not that your sort are much better, mind. But I'm sure you'll do just fine. Will you teach me how to handle a rapier? Like I have a choice? Come on. Let's try and make a swordsman of you. Show me some tricks with the rapier. Tricks? What about making a counterattack? Use the swing of your parry to strike at your opponent. You only need to guide your blade. The force comes from the parry. You won't kill your opponent outright, but sometimes every hit counts. Now, Rapier is for the Inquisition. This guy goes not piercing weapons, but slashing weapons, also known as the saber, the swords. The Inquisition will go with, um, you know, Epi. Or a, you know, I think it was the Epi, a Rapier. That, those kind of weapons, you know, is those pointy blades. Which is, uh... Piercing damage, not slashing. Sword is slashing. Epis are, you know, piercing. And my voodoo pirate will go with throwing weapons, technically speaking. But, uh, yeah. At least now I can parry. Provided I learn how, so. Let me check. Fuck. I wasted gold on counter, but it's not in here. I can't sworn it normally is, but you know, whatever. Nothing I can do. Who can you give me? Bartolo, Venturo, Martinez, and Sancho. They're all yours. Keep your filthy hands off the rest, understood? Understood. Where can I find Venturo? How should I know? I'm not his bloody keeper. He'll be around here somewhere. Stop wasting my time. Where can I find Bartolo? In the dormitory of the main house, I hope. He's supposed to be in there cleaning boots. Where can I find Martinez? At Tito's, on extra duty. <laughs> Why? What did he do? Bunked off early from duty the other night. Oh, so he's lazy. No, had some scrubber on the go. She made him late the next day too. Hope Tito's made him clean out the pigsty. Holy bastard. Where can I find Sancho? He's out on patrol. You'll have to look for him. Any idea where on patrol? Ask Torres at the outpost. They stop there sometimes. Heard there was a new face in town. Don't make any trouble.
I'm looking for Martinez. I only just saw him. He must be around here somewhere. Keep looking, you'll find him. Alcazar sent me. Alcazar? You taking the piss or what? You're supposed to join me in an attack on Crow and his pirates. Oh, is that all? Are you ready to move out? Hold on, mate. I'm not shitting myself, but Crow and his lads. They're no fucking pushover. Who else is with us? Venturo, Bartolo and Sancho. That's more like it. Those boys are handy in a fight. Where are we meeting? In front of the upper town gate. All right. I'll head over there now. Don't touch anything here. I'm getting a few guys together to take on Crow, and you've just volunteered. Taking on Crow, huh? Count me in. Where do you want me? Outside the main gate. Wait there till I've got everyone together. We'll leave from there. Got it. We don't want to hang around too long. Tell the others. My place is here now. And where do you think you're going? On the ship? No, you're not. Orders from the Commandant. Swig of grog? Don't mind if I do. Now can I go onto the ship? No. Are you going to take a break at some point? So you can sneak on? Think I was born yesterday? Well, I'll be off then. Mind how you go? No, I haven't got time right now. Treat this place with respect. Hmm, maybe not. Commandant Sebastiano wants you to accompany me on a mission. Why? What do you need me for? I need a marksman. Ah, uh, that might be a problem. Oh? My musket. It's gone. What do you mean, gone? 
I was working on it last night at Webster's. Replaced the trigger, cleaned the barrel, readjusted the sight. Only in the morning it had gone. Vanished. Can't you get another one? They only give us one. You lose it, that's it. Just take another musket then. It's not that easy. I can't steal from one of my mates. What do you take me for, a pirate? When exactly did you last see your musket? I finished cleaning it, and then... I don't know. Eusebio had brought over some wine. Last I remember, we were knocking it back around the fire. Then, when I woke up, my head was thumping and my musket wasn't there. Well, what does your musket look like? Like any ordinary flintlock. Regular barrel length, no bayonet. Beechwood with brass plate finish. Know much about weapons? Used to be an apprentice gunsmith before I got drafted. Reckon you can teach me anything? What? About making guns? I could, but... But what? I don't know if I'm allowed to. It's okay. Sebastiano trusts me. Uh, I guess it's all right then. So long as I don't get into trouble. I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. Ah, yes. L96 barrel length, beech stock with brass buff plate. Why, have you seen it? He worked so hard on that musket of his. Replaced the trigger, cleaned the barrel, readjusted the sight, and then he goes and loses it. Just goes to show, sir, if one can't hold one's liquor, one shouldn't go drinking all night. Why? What do you know about it? Young Master Bartolo was led astray by Eusebio, I fear. Just the two of them, was it? Most of the time. Uh, I fell asleep after the first bottle, sir. So where do you think Bartolo's musket is now? Well, I doubt it walked off of its own accord, sir. You mean it was stolen? It's a fine piece. I'm sure it'll catch a few beady eyes. Who'd want it? More like who wouldn't, sir. We can but hope it hasn't fallen into the hands of the Moluccas. Why can't you just give Bartolo another musket? I can't release a musket without the Commandant's consent, sir. In tight with the Commandant, I hear. That must be nice. At least it proves you're not mates with those Moluccas. Once a pirate, always a pirate. I'll be watching you. I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. What makes you think I can help you there? You were drinking with him. Yeah, and I was drunk, wasn't I? What happened last night? Not much. Tito scrunched up a couple of bottles of wine, and we drank them. Took half the night. Bartolo passed out at some point, pissed as a fart. And? And what? I need your permission to drink with my mates? Do me a favor and piss off with questions about some musket. Oh, so you're in debt? Yeah, but only because I wanted to eat some proper meat for a change. How can you wind up in debt for buying meat? It can happen faster than you think, especially when Tito slaughters one of his pigs and sells the meat on the sly. So, how much do you owe him? 200 gold. And if I pay it off for you? <laughs> I doubt Tito would let that happen, but you can try. But if you do, I'll answer all your bloody silly questions. Deal? I'm looking for Bartolo's musket. <laughs> then you're wasting your time. That dozy idiot's always losing stuff. Maybe he didn't lose it. Maybe it was stolen. Go on. You were there that night too. You brought the wine. Those damn protectors talk too much. Maybe 
it would be better for you if you kept your snout out of other people's business. I heard Eusebio owes you money. And that's between me and him. And none of your business. Not even if I offer to pay his debts off? Oh, yeah? Got 300 gold, have you? Don't try it on. I know it's only 200. Oh, all right. 200 gold, then. Look, think about the bigger picture here. Huh? If you let him off the debt, word will get around about what a gentleman you are. A gentleman, eh? I like the sound of that. And, well, Eusebio doesn't have any money anyway. All right, I'll forget about it. But just this once. All right, your debts have been paid. They have? Hm. That's a bloody weight off my mind, I can tell you. And what else can you tell me? Okay, okay, I'll answer your bloody questions. For 200 gold, you'd better. All right. There were four of us there that night. Bartolo, Tito, me, and Martinez, he was there too. But Martinez didn't drink much, so Tito sent him to hunt in the jungle. All a bit of a haze after that. All I remember is waking up in the jungle the next morning. But I didn't take the musket, I swear. You'd better not have. Day in, day No, I don't have time right now. Don't touch anything here. Here's another bottle. Thanks, love. Have you got Bartolo's musket? Why would you think that? It's been missing since the evening you all got drunk together. Not me, Squire. I've no use for the thing. Why is Bartolo's musket no use to you? Oh, it's a lovely shooter, but it hasn't got a bayonet, has it? You always need a bayonet to stick some fucking big boar that comes charging out of the bushes at you. Bartolo's fancy gun wouldn't be much use to me then, would it? What happened last night? The boys got plastered, and I got bored watching them, so I went hunting. But then later, I ran into Eusebio in the jungle, bullshitting about how he was going to teach the savages a lesson. I told him that I hadn't seen any Moluccas, but he said that Tito had seen one. Then he fucked around in the bushes for a while until he fell over and passed out. That's all I know. I know more about what happened that night. Do you now? And that's supposed to scare me? All I care about is the musket, so hear me out. Spit it out, then. You got them drunk, but Martinez didn't want to drink, so you sent him off hunting. Bartolo fell asleep. Eusebio was drunk, but that wasn't enough for you, so you made him believe Moluccas were in the valley. This is a nice fairy story. Let me finish. Of course, Eusebio didn't find any Moluccas because there never were any. He fell asleep in the jungle instead, leaving you alone with the sleeping Bartolo and his musket. It's a little more than suspicious, wouldn't you say? That all you got? Silly bloody theories? 
Just hand it over and we'll forget the whole thing, yeah? Ah, all right. But it's broken. Here's your musket, Bartolo. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks. Wait, it's broken. Damn. Yes, I see what's happened. The trigger guard's bent. All I have to do is bend it back, I think. Well, just fix it then. No sooner said than done. What about this mission of yours? Crow's time has come. I need a marksman to help take him out. Meet me at the upper town gate, soon as you like. Yes, right away. I can fix my musket on the way. I'm just waiting for the uh, guy to stand there so I can make the save and then I'll go into the next episode to finish Crow. Now keep in mind, even though I joined the Inquisition, I'm not allied with the Inquisition. Operation Mindfuck.